Hi everyone and welcome back. You are not gonna believe some of this wedding chaos that ensued after a drag queen crashed a wedding. <laughs> But I'm being rude. My name is Katie Sutter and I am a wedding planner. I have a free wedding planning timeline linked in the description below. If you are into that kind of thing nowadays, um, you know, if you're planning a wedding, but if you are just here for the ride, well, uh, buckle in, cause this one's a fun one. Don't forget to slay that like button and give a lap dance to that subscribe, but keep it PG for me, okay? At least try, try for me, okay? Now let's check out that video. Oh, <laughs> she totally just startled that woman with the, with the little orange headpiece at the very beginning. I don't think these people were expecting this. Oh, that guy is like, what? What just happened? I just got kissed. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Shouldn't have made me. Look at her. She's giving it her all. I love how like frazzled she looks. It's perfect. Yeah. Oh my God. She hit him. Oh my gosh. She hit him again. This poor guy is getting beaten up. Hell yeah. I'm going to give this my full passion energy. She's killing this lip sync. Oh my God, wait, she's not underwear? She's in her, wait, what? How did she, was she in her underwear the whole time? Oh, oh my God. Oh, I just beating this groom up. Oh my God. I wonder what's in that bag. Oh my God, they look like they're having a great time though. Like, this is such a hilarious idea. Oh my God. What's like, where's she going? Is she leaving now? Oh, she's back, she's back. I can't imagine what I would do if this were a surprise for me, because I would be like, wow. Okay, that was a whole ride. Let's talk about it. So this was like the most popular one that I found, but like there are other ones of just drag queens coming in, crashing weddings and just singing that song. It should have been me. And um, I think, I think that's spectacular. <laughs> I wouldn't want that to happen at my own wedding, but I I feel like that is a whole vibe and I freaking love it. Tell me what you think in the description below. How would you feel if that happened to you? But it's like, there's, there's whole other videos where it's just like these angry drag queens and like, I mean, they're acting obviously, but it's so fabulous. And they're like, like there's the one where she has this bright yellow wig and she is coming in she's singing the exact same song as the one i just reacted to and she is just giving it her all because you know drag queens are there to slay they are hunters not hunties and it's like hell yeah still again i don't think i'd want this happening on my wedding but like holy crap this is so much fun i don't know what i would do i would probably be pretty thrilled though even if it did happen oh no there's another video um from a different angle the same wedding that we just reacted to and she is wearing a skirt when she walks in oh my gosh that is so fun but like these have um, these these happen like all of the time and people wear like similar outfits to the original like it's just like this went viral five years ago and like now it's like it's still a thing. Like there's this other one where it's like, it should have been me wedding crasher. And she's just like wearing basically the same outfit as the one that went viral that we just reacted to that was like five years ago. And it's like, just so fun. This is not your average kind of a uh, wedding crasher. That's for sure. I mean, you know, I personally really love drag queens. Um, I used to watch RuPaul's Drag Race all of the time when I lived with my friend who was a drag queen. I actually have a drag queen at my own wedding. Had, I guess at the time that this is going to be uh, published, but he won't be in drag, but he's my officiant. And I was, he was like, I could go in drag if you wanted me to. And I was like, oh no, I really do want the attention on Tony and I, but I, I just, I think like the idea itself is very fun if that's like what you really want. I don't see why you couldn't have a drag queen officiate your wedding. Maybe it wasn't for me, but like it's definitely for somebody. So anyway, I love this whole idea. I think this is a great deal of fun. If you are planning your wedding and you want to incorporate something like this, I mean, it's better if you know somebody, but you can definitely get a drag queen to perform at your wedding. Like, I think they would love that. I definitely know a few drag queens who would love to do that. They'd have a great deal of fun if they were invited to do it. 
but anyway and so i would probably plan this one out like a little further in advance and if you wanted to keep it a surprise you'd have to like be very careful about your wording and uh, make sure your coordinator knows or your planner or whoever is in charge knows that this is a surprise if it is a surprise and again if you need a wedding planning timeline link it that i i have one linked in the description below it could make it really easy it doesn't say hire a drag queen at any point i would plan it about like two to six months in advance. I think it depends on the drag queen, right? Because some of them are already booked up on Saturdays doing their shows. So something to think about. Don't forget that I do have a free wedding planning timeline linked in the description below. And uh, if you're just not at that part in your life, like that's okay. Like in the wise words of RuPaul, if you can't love yourself, how in the hell are you gonna love someone else? <laughs> if you like my video, check out 